Hi and welcome to today's video. My name is Rita, this is my channel 10 Red Lipsticks and today we're going to talk about my out of control eyeshadow palette collection. So I have 96 eyeshadow palettes in my active collection of palettes that I am using. So today is a fantasy declutter where I decide which palettes I would keep if I could only keep half. So half is 48, so I have 96 in total, so 48 is half. So I go through all of my 96 eyeshadow palettes and I whittle it down one by one to the 48 I would keep if I had to declutter half. So I got this video idea from Sarah Rose Beauty. She's a great YouTuber. She does reviews. She does lots of kind of getting the use out of her collection videos and um, because she doesn't like to collect too much. She has a much smaller eyeshadow palette collection than I have, for example. Um, and I definitely find her approach um, very encouraging in terms of really enjoying beauty, really enjoying makeup, but not letting it get out of control. I've definitely let things get out of control here. So I thought this was a good kind of experiment and a good way to review and look at, look at my collection for myself, but also talk about it for you guys. So you can maybe see, you know, which palettes do I like, but they wouldn't quite make the cut if I could only keep half of the palettes that I own. At the end, when I got to the 48, realising how many palettes that is, how big of a collection that is, really made me stop and think about, you know, should I do this um, video for real? Should I really declutter half of my eyeshadow palettes? I'm not going to do that now, but it's definitely something to think about. Um, and one thing I definitely don't want to do is declutter half and then just repurchase up to the same numbers. I definitely don't want to do that um, because I have things I really, really love here and I have things I really, really like that didn't make the cut of if I could only keep half, but I do really like them. So yeah, it's it's something to think about for sure. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Whittling down 98 palette, 96 palettes to 48, which ones are going to make the cut? Thank you for stick in here for what's sure to be a long video um so yeah maybe get a drink and sit back if you just want to watch some palettes go by uh this will definitely be a good one for that let's get straight to it here is my i think entire palette collection it's not impossible that you know one or two quads or something are in a makeup bag somewhere but I think this is everything as far as I know. Oops, just kicked the tripod there. So as you can see, we've got a huge quantity here. So our first task is to count everything and make sure that we are working with the correct numbers. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> realize that none of my elf bite size quads are included but I think that's actually correct because I don't really use these anymore I just kind of keep them for memories so I'm not going to include those another one that's missing is my wet n wild walking on eggshells that's the five pan like this so I'm going to include the four pan in its stead okay so I've added it up and 96 is our total, which means 48 is our goal. So I'm going to move things around because um, we can't look at everything at once. And then we're going to get into the nitty gritty. Before we get into that, I'll just tell you the nail varnish that I wear today is the Essence Shine Last and Go in 65 Disco Fever. It's this like taupey brown shimmer. Apologies, that is a helicopter going overhead. I was wondering, would Taylor Swift's jet for the gigs, the Dublin gigs, land in uh, Dublin Airport? Or would it land in the little tiny private airport near my house? Um, which is about as close as I'm getting to the gigs, unfortunately. So I'm distracting myself with a big video. Let's get into it. I've 
moved everything that's in a box away because I feel like those are nice and safe. Okay, let's get into this. So, a couple of eye and face palettes first off. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to position these so you can't see the mirror. And five. My instinct is to keep all of these. I love I Am Face palettes. And if I had to keep only half of these, I'd keep the Natasha Denona and the Charlotte Tilbury. But if I can, I'm going to keep all of them. So I'm going to put these three in the definite keep pile. And I'm going to put this one in a maybe pile because it's much older. This is an Elizabeth Arden palette. This is a cream highlighter, which is too old now for me to use. So that obviously kind of brings down the usefulness of this palette. But this blush is amazing. These shimmers are really nothing. They're just these satiny shades, but it's like beautiful, cool tone neutrals. So do you know what? Actually, I've talked myself out of it now. I'm going to put this in the fantasy declutter pile. So that's our first one down. Oh, I forgot one. This is the Milani uh, all-inclusive palette. So this is really lovely. However, I am going to put this in the declutter because the bronzer and the highlighter are a bit too much for me. I really like the blushes and the eyeshadows, but if I can only keep half, this doesn't make the cut, even though it is a really nice palette. And if you have warmer or slightly deeper skin than me, then I'd say the blush, or sorry, the bronzer and the highlighter would be fine for you. So, um, this Gloss Gods New Neutrals Remixed. Hmm. Um, it's beautiful, but I'm not sure. And if it was between this and the Glaminatrix Nearly Natural, then the Glaminatrix definitely wins for me. So I think that answers that question. Keep the Nearly Natural. And declutter the new neutrals. Another possible one for one. I've got two and they're magnetized together. Of the Kaleidos Sashimi City. Uh, sorry, Sashimi City and Lunar Lavender. These are the future, some of the futurism palettes. They have now been discontinued. But definitely this Sashimi City neutral Colour story is a keep. Whoa. And if I can only keep half, the Lunar Lavender isn't going to make the cut just because it's much less my go to colour story. Though also very pretty. This Catrice palette, um, maybe I'll get all of my Catrice out actually. Okay, I have all of my Catrice here and all of my Essence here. I'm going to open them up and we'll have a look. So these are all of my Catrice palettes. I've got three from the... Disney Classics Collection, Miss Bunny, Marie and Lady. I've got the Catrice X Jenny a six pan. I've got this Catrice Clean ID and I've got this Catrice Pro Slim Next Gen Nudes. So if I could only keep three from this six, I think Next Gen Nudes, Jenny, and then it's between this little guy and the lady palette. I love the colour story of the Marie of the 
yeah that's Marie because this is Miss Bunny yeah that's Marie um but I love Lady um Lady and Tramp has a big sentimental value to me so I think this is going in a maybe pile and these two are keeps and then these three are declutters okay next up essence so we've got five essence palettes here i kind of feel like i have the purple one of these but i don't know where it is and maybe that's not even true i did have the bronze and i decluttered it because i knew it was a color story that my friends would like so we've got this bambi palette we've got sorry my tripod is not super stable this beautiful rapunzel palette which i love the color story of this we've got the daily dose of love which is pink we've got the essence coffee to glow which is neutral and we've got dancing green so can't even see the Rapunzel. Out of these, I want to keep the Rapunzel, but it's going to go in a maybe pile because I'm not too fixed on it. But I definitely want to keep the Coffee to Glow. It's amazing. And the Bambi palette. I love the colour story and I love the shimmers and the mattes in this palette. I think it's a really, really good one. So those are going into the keep pile and dancing green and daily dose of love don't make the cut. Whoops, I forgot a bunch of my Catrice. So I have the caviar gauche and then I have four of the five in a box. So I definitely want to keep the caviar gauche. It's this amazing quad that is just so beautiful. Every day neutral, but like rosy neutrals. Love it. Um, and then from these four, I think the 010 Golden Nude look I want to keep. And the other three, um, Warm Spice look, sorry about the little airplane going overhead, Elegant Khaki look and Soft Rose look, don't make the cut. Sachet OA. Next, let's go more high-end. So for Natasha Denona, I have quite a few. We already put the um, face glam face palette in the keep pile. But here I've got three midi palettes, bronze, retro and glam. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mini palettes. So I want to keep all three of these. Bronze, I absolutely love. And the only thing it's missing is an inner corner highlight, but I can pull one in from another palette. Other than that, it's amazing. Bliss is my favourite shade. These tones, you know, for a bronze palette, which isn't my go-to colour story, are just lovely. And I think some of the shimmers are really, really beautiful. The retro palette, if I had to get rid of one, would be the one I'd get rid of at the minute. It's not complete. Um, I have a BYOP in the glam palette so this is like a weird ugly mishmash so retro isn't exactly what i wanted it to be i wanted it to be like this packaging pink but really it's much more of a burgundy palette um and then glam is amazing and absolute definite keep no matter what this is a byop at the minute but a lot of the shades are from glam um so yeah i love these palettes i love the format of them and i would love to get more of the midi palettes so i can make BYOPs like that um, and then in terms of the minis so we've got mini Zendo, mini Nude, mini Biba, mini Starlet, mini Retro, mini Gold oh God. and mini Love so i like most of, i love most of these i like most of them the only one i don't really like is nude um so that's an obvious declutter though i do love using that center shade as an inner corner highlight with the bronze palette um 
Zendo I could live without. Love I could live without. But I would be sad to lose it. And then I think I want to keep these four. So Mini Biba, Mini Starlet, Mini Retro and Mini Gold. They're all amazing. So those are four keeps. Sorry, seven keeps and three declutters. I have five of these so they don't really all fit on a screen at once. So these are the BH Cosmetics Travel Palettes. So this is beautiful in Barcelona. I have never used this palette. So that's a pretty easy declutter. Even though the neutrals in it look beautiful, the blues are a bit much for me. Then I've got Hanging in Hawaii. This is an obvious keep. Ruth gave me this palette. She was decluttering it and it's just the perfect colour story for me. And Love in London. This is another obvious, oh sorry, obvious keep for me. These cool neutrals are just phenomenal. And then I've got the Smitten in Switzerland and the Summer in Saint-Tropez. So Summer in Saint-Tropez is just a bit too colourful for me, so declutter. But then Smitten in Switzerland, I think, is kind of perfect, you know, a bit of colour, a bit of neutral. It's good stuff. So that's a keep. So keeping three and decluttering three of the BH Cosmetics travel palettes. So here we've got a kind of random assortment of small palettes. So there are some easy let goes here. Um, Wet n Wild Petalette. It's fine. It's not amazing. And mine arrived smashed. So I repressed this shade with alcohol and it's just not that great now. Um, yeah, I think all of the Wet n Wild, it's good, like quite good. But if I can only keep half. It's not as good as everything else I've got. This MAC palette, um, a dusty, dusky rose times nine. It's just nothing special. It's a lovely colour story, but the shimmers aren't shimmering enough for me. My mother-in-law also decluttered that one to me. Um, and let's bring all of these into frame a bit better. So my instincts are this Zueva that I was panning last year um, is such an amazing colour story but the formula has really degraded over time so it can go. This Huda can go. It's a lovely colour story, lovely shimmers, lovely format but it just does not last that well on my eyes. Um, hmm, hmm. Okay, so I think I'll keep the Zoeva Together We Shine. It's just a lovely... No, do you know what? I'll put it in the maybe pile. It's a lovely go-to basic neutral mini palette, but I have picked a few of those already, so I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. I'm also going to put the Sigil in the maybe pile. It's just stunning, cool tones, um, really fun indie palette. So I'm going to stick that in the maybe pile, and we'll see how we go. This Zoeva Precious Palette can go... Hmm. Beauty Bay Pastels. Do you know what? That's in the maybe pile as well. And we'll see how we go. I'm obviously drifting to more and more towards neutrals because those are my favourite. But I do like to wear colour sometimes. So I don't want to wind up with no colour. So I'm just leaving that Beauty Bay Pastels as a possibility if at the end I have basically no colour. Um... Next, let's look at some shimmers. So Bobbi Brown, Pink Glow Lux, Urban Decay, Moon Dust, um, Space Rider, and Glaminatrix Fairy Lights. So I'm keeping all of these phenomenal shimmers. Absolutely love. These are more kind of toppers, but really, really like them too. And these are also mostly more toppers and they're stunning. So all three of those can stay, even though 
these have pretty similar colors. I'll show you them side by side. There we got the Bobby Brown. Failing spectacularly and not showing you everything unnecessarily. So got like a cool tone, a pinky, a bronzy or rose goldy and a white in both, but they're both great. So they both make the cut, at least for now. We'll see how we're going on the numbers in a bit. This Perfusions Mauves can go. A uh, lovely colour story. The formula isn't really up to my oily eyelids. Let's do some more complete brands. So I've got Nabla, Viseart and Juvia's Place. Let's do Juvia's Place. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. That's easy because none of them have um, mirrors. And I'll put this Nabla one out here as well. So I want to keep all of these, but <laughs> let's be realistic. So the bronze is so lovely, but I don't need it, you know. Um, the Vanessa, I love the colour story. And I love the shimmers, so that's going to be a keep. The blushed rose, again, I love the colour story and the shimmers, so that's going to be a keep. And then the Nabla, I'm going to put in the Maybe palette because this silver really is just so amazing. The whole palette's lovely, but it's a bit deep for me. But this silver is next level, so that's going in the Maybe palette. And then some more Nabla, I've got the Read My Mind palette and the, um, whatever this is called. What is it called? Side by side palette. So a neutral and then rosy with some neutrals and some blues. Yeah, I'm keeping both side by side. Keep. Read my mind. Keep. They're both phenomenal. Um, and then blush rose and Vanessa keep. And then this. Silver, no, OK. We'll say this cutie palette is a declutter and that this bronze rustic is a declutter, even though it hurts me to do it. It hurts me. So for Viseart, I've got six palettes and um, two with the mini pan size and four with the eight on do pan size. So this is so hard. I absolutely adore the formula. It is phenomenal. I want to keep all of them. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Paris Edit is out because it is missing shades. It arrived smashed and I repressed a few shades with alcohol and, and three shades couldn't be saved. So it's not in the running. Spritz isn't in the running because it's a fun colour story, but it's just not my go-to. But look at that packaging. Look how pretty it is. Like bubbles, like an Aperol spritz. Stunning. So these two, goodbye. Is it possible to keep all? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to keep 100% keep the Lila quad. It is phenomenal. It's so nice. I'm going to keep the um, Soleil La Plage. Partially because the colour story is fun and interesting and partially because look at this packaging. The little boats. And then for the mink set and the violette, I want them, but I'm going to put them in the maybe pile and we'll see how we go. And with both of them, it's colour story. Like the violette, I love the colour story. It just goes a bit kind of deep and intense for me. And the... Ming set, you know, it's a warm neutral palette. It's very cool. Lovely, lovely formula, as I've said. But, you know, warm neutrals aren't my go-to. Cool neutrals are my go-to. So, like, the top row of the Violette with the these mattes and this shimmer, like, that's my go-to. So, I don't think the Ming set is an obvious yes. And the Violette is just because it gets a bit intense. The, sorry, these were all keeps. This was a keep forgetting what's done already okay look so Zoeva I've got we've done a few already but I've got the offline palette and I've got the premier palette 
And if I had to choose one, I would keep the Premier, but these palettes are a bit older. So I'm actually going to say that I would declutter both because, you know, I shouldn't declutter newer shadows that are going to last longer for these that are kind of on their last legs. But I think they're great formulae and lovely colour stories and really nice packaging. So what more could you ask for? Um, the Cura Moon Dust. So this is a dupe for, um, I don't know, one of the, is it Jackie Ina maybe? No, I don't know. One of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hill palettes. Jeez, I can't remember anything. I love this colour story and I think this formula is good. But if I could only keep half, this would not make the cut. Ooh. Now, here's a colourful palette I think I will keep. So this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. And this colour story is great. The only shades that aren't good are these purples. The rest of the palette is good. They're quite pigmented. Um, but I really like some of these shimmers. And yeah, I think that would be a good diversifying addition to my collection. Um, I said in a recent video that I thought I had already decluttered this. So... This uh, Sigma Cord de Rosa definitely doesn't make the cut if I could only keep half. Um, is a lovely colour story. Some of these shimmers are not my preferred formula. Though I do like that they have a range of shimmer formulae in one palette. I think that's admirable and interesting and is something I want. But some of those formulae just aren't for me. Oh, another Nabla palette. I forgot this. The Secret palette. And again, a bit more colourful, but this one, I'm going to say no, even though Ghibli and T Contigo are some of my favourite mats in the world. Like, they just, they have like that thing that makes mats swatch amazingly. And now, obviously, these are not great swatches, but um, most of that is because the angle I'm at, I can't really see what I'm doing in the lens. So anyway um stunning packaging but this does not make the cut okay ducks so we've got some tart some color pop some sydney grace some beauty bay turn on that a bit right again and some bobby brown so this bobby brown is very weird it is three mats and they're like in their own individual pots and then they're in this my mother-in-law gave me this i haven't decluttered it because i'm like i've swatched them and they're really good but yeah it would definitely not make the cut in this scenario and then so my instinct with these is i want to keep the breakfast in bed beauty bakery amazing kind of cool tone palette Phenomenal neutrals absolutely love this palette to keep. I want to keep the ColourPop Blush Crush. This is a beautiful pink palette. And it's that kind of soft pink. Very wearable. And I love the packaging. Really nice. And I want to keep the Tartlet Jewel. Excellent mini palette. Cool tone, but you can do like... A neutral look, like a brown look, you can do a purpley look, you can mix them all together and go more glam and beautiful shimmers in that one. Um, Mountain Trail, no. So I'll show you this colour story, lovely greens. Um, these are magnetic, so... I'm able to use this packaging to make my own BYOPs, which is kind of why I bought this palette. I like the colour story, but I'm not I'm not a an all green palette kind of person, really. This sweet tart double shot sugar rush palette. It's beautiful warm neutrals, but I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it. So some more colour pop. We've got Wild Nothing and the uh, Disney princess, Disney designer princess, blah blah palette. So, 
Wild Nothing, definite keep. I love this colour story. It is excellent for... Sorry, there was a bit of powder had fallen onto one of them. Um, For cool... for uh, Sorry, for light skin. Excellent palette. Love it. Hmm. This is another maybe. I really like this, but... It's not necessarily my top favourite. So that's a maybe going into the maybe pile. Beauty Bay, the Golden Age. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to put that to the side for a second. Um, my other Beauty Bay palette. Oh, goodness. Neutral 42 is a definite keep. Sorry, let me open it over here because there literally isn't enough space to open it on camera. So, yeah, this palette is amazing. Um, the just plethora of cool tones here and some of the shimmers are really stunning. So, definite keep. Then let's go through a few more minis. So I've got Rowan Quads, Charlotte Tilbury, Lacura, uh, Colourpop, and Clinique. So this is actually a duo, this smashed um, with a blush. I really, really like this, but... It's not substantial enough to make the cut in this situation. Out of the liqueur quads, so that's Aldi's own brand. There's this bronzy one. Don't need that. And there is this gorgeous um, Pillow Talk dupe. Keep. Charlotte Tilbury, the Uptown Girl. It's a bit more grey than is my go-to, but... It's a stunning formula and does do a beautiful look. Keep these two colour pop quads in cream soda and sorbet. It's just the formula, like the shimmers are stunningly beautiful, but the fallout and the longevity are huge problems with them. So they don't make the cut. And then Rowan, I've got 75 degrees and 11 and 11. Let's open these up and compare. So... I mean, they're both beautiful. I'm going to put 11.11 in yes and 75 degrees in maybe. Now, we're nearly at the stage of properly counting up to see where we're at. Laura Geller, woman of the year, woman of the hour. This is a beautiful palette. It's all these baked neutrals. Hardly any mattes, mostly shimmers. Um, lots of like kind of satiny shimmers, but really beautiful. Um, it is hard to get your finger in for a swatch because of the shape. But I'll just do this for an example. Like very smooth, you know, textured skin friendly. I have a sentimental attachment to this. I did my mother's makeup for my wedding day with this palette. Um, and as I age, I want to keep it. I want to keep it. We'll, we'll see. That might be reassessed uh, when we look at the numbers in a minute. Next up, LA Girl. I've got the VIP Desert Dream, the Pro Mastery, and the Break Free BU. Um, definitely the Pro Mastery is Keep. This is a stunning pink neutral palette. Shimmers are extremely impactful, kind of flaky textured shimmers. VIP Desert Dream as a summery colourful palette. Pink and yellow and neutral. Keep. The Break Free BU is the only one in question, and it's just because of the colour story. You know, it's warm neutrals. It's very comparable to the um, Natasha Denona, I was about to call it Colourpop, 
what am I talking about I'm just going to get the bronze palette and we will have a look at them Whoop. it's obviously not identical but um I don't think I need both you don't really have any yellow in the bronze palette and you've a good bit of yellow in the LA girl but other than that you know We've loads of mid-tone bronzes here and this whole palette basically is mid-tone bronzes. So I don't think I need both. And even in this, you still do not have an inner corner highlight. Like these are both mattes. Um, so yeah, this does not make the cut. But the Natasha Denona does. So I think we're at the end. Colourpop Bare Necessities and Colourpop It's All Good. So we've got Bare Necessities here and it's all good here. I want to keep both of these. <laughs> I think they're just so beautiful. Um, yeah, I, it gives you so much variety. Okay, those are both maybes. We'll see where we are on the numbers. So... Here is my fairly substantial maybe pile. So I'm going to put that off to the side and we're going to count up the yeses. Okay, this is still taking up so much room. Okay. okay, so I'm at 42 in my definite yeses which means to get to our 48 total, we need six palettes from the maybe pile. So here's the maybe pile. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. Okay, so actually I'm cutting my maybe pile in half as well. So that's pretty simple. <laughs> Okay, in terms of hmm, warm matte, warm brands, I think formula wins out over sentimentality. So the Viseart Minx set makes the cut and the Catrice Lady palette, not that there's anything wrong with the formula of this one, um, doesn't make the cut. Look at her. She's so beautiful. She's just, she's the most classy dog. She's the, she's the best dog. Anyway. <laughs> So, <laughs> and I think the Viseart Violette makes the cut as well. Excellent formula and adding a bit of diversity in terms of colour. So those are my first two. Um, diversity in terms of colour. Should the pastel palette make the cut? I mean, I don't know if I have the shimmers to go with it in what I have kept. So I'm not sure if it's totally purposeful to keep the pastel palette or if it's all good from Colourpop would make more sense. Though it's all good from Colourpop is a very comparable colour story to the VIP Desert Dream that we looked at recently so yeah okay I'm gonna go out on a limb and keep the pastels palette I think it will add a bit even like for matte inner corners with those pastel colors like that yellow on the inner corner that would be really good so hmm I don't need this rowing quad. I am going to include this sigil palette. It's just a perfect colour story for me. 
and it's adding some diversity in terms of colors, textures, etc. into what I'm keeping. So that's four. So out of these now, only two. So we've got the Essence um, Rapunzel palette. I don't need this color story. Goodbye. So here I know. We've got the It's a Princess thing from ColourPop. I didn't keep the Nabla palette with the beautiful silver. Thingamabob is another beautiful silver. And partially for that reason, partially for the packaging, and partially for these just soft neutrals that are really easy, I am going to keep this one. Look at that silver. Stunning. Stunning. Okay, and now from these two, and then... These two, I get to keep one. I'm going to be boring and keep the Zoeva. It's just such a perfect go to. You can do a brown look, you can do a pinky look. It's a perfect palette. It's a perfect travel palette. And I know I've kept loads of perfect travel palettes, but. I do actually travel a decent amount, or rather, I travel with no possibility of um, any luggage, so <laughs> a decent amount. So, let's have a look at everything that we have kept. So, we haven't got that much colour staying, if I only keep half, but... Sorry, I'm bringing up the light a bit now it's totally unbalanced but um yeah that's a bit better um well, we've got a little bit a little bit of color but the vast majority we've got cool tones we've got pinks we've got cool neutrals um yeah so this is the chaotic madness of the final palettes let me lay them out in a more <laughs> was basically impossible so we've got this little basket with two four six eight <clears throat> ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one pallets in it and then we've got this big guy with two four six seven Eight, the big beauty bay neutral it's back here 10 12 14 16 18 21 oh so sorry that adds up to 42 and then we've got these that i thought were already in a box two four six those are the 48 palettes that i would keep if i could only he keep half of my eyeshadow collection. Yikes, that took so much work. <laughs> that was such a long, long process. Yeah, do you agree? Do you disagree? I'm trying to have it that you guys can kind of see everything. Um, what do you think? Decent choices? Terrible choices? Let me know down below. What would you keep? Thanks so much for watching. Bye.